Hi everyone, my beautiful people. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple visualize base map using GeoPandas with Python with only 10 lines of code. So what you're required, actually we have to cook, we have to make a cake. So in order to make a cake, you need first an oven. So before you're having an oven, you need some requirements you need like either fire or something like electricity. So this is, so in our base map in GeoPandas, I mean, using Python, we need three things, GeoPandas, Matplotlib, and Contextlib. So GeoPandas, these are open, it's an open source project, which is, gives you a geospatial data to work with it easily using Python. That means it extends its data types to allow spatial operations using geometric types with the normal pandas. That means it performs Shapley. Shapley is like a Cartesian coordinates, like X and Y, lats and lasts and longitudes. That means it depends on Fiona for file access. We access our files, I'll show you. And using matplotlib for plotting. So that means, that being said, that GeoPandas as a package is needed as a library, then matplotlib, need, you need to have it installed in your ID. For my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code. Then Contextly, actually, this is the package to retrieve tile maps. Tile maps, those are online base maps, which I'm going to show you how to do it in just only 10 lines of code from the internet. And it can add those tiles as base map to matplotlib. So it will be plotted by matplotlib as shown here for plotting. So now let us open our oven. That means let us make our Python file so that we can code with only 10 lines of code and draw or visualize the simple base map. So I'll go, I'll open my folder here. I have, I have my folder already, simple geopandas. Then I'll create a file. So the file will be like sim, I mean, base map geopandas. Yes, simple base map geopandas. Yeah, simple base map geopandas. Then you need to put an extension because this Python is py. If it was JavaScript, it would be js. You see, it changes. So for my case, because it's Python, it's py. So upon creating it, that means automatically it opens a blank space. So I'll start by commenting. Creating the comment, actually. The comment is from here. So I'll just comment. I'll just copy this. Paste it here. I mean, commenting. Creating a simple base map using GeoPanda. So this is out of the line of code. So my line of code is just from here. So we need to import all those necessary, as I mentioned earlier. Import GeoPandas as gpd then another import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt then import now this is the context lib for actually online tile maps contextly as c x see so now we have that now, what you're required to do now, we need to read our files using Fiona, as I mentioned earlier, the GeoPandas. So now to read our file, that means, because it's a visual base map, actually it will be Tanzania. That means I'll keep T, Z, Tanzania, equals to, I'm assigning a variable. Now, GeoPandas is GPD, as I mentioned here, is GeoPandas is equals to GPD. Instead of writing all the whole sentence, GeoPandas, dot, I'm reading the file here, then put these brackets, then string. So because I want to read the file, the file I know where it is, I'll just open here. The, I'll copy the path. Sorry. I'll copy the path here. Then I'll just paste it here. Then I'll just copy the file now because the file is in shape file. That means this one here. I'll just try like renaming it so that I can copy it. So I should make sure that I should not misspell it so that it can pick the same file. Then I'll change this to forward slash. For, unless otherwise you could have put the error for reading this one here yes this one here this one here and this one here so that's it now I have my file so now because you're using geopandas and this is a normal panda data frame we can now run and in our kernel or in our python interactive window and see what what it appears so i'll just print tz then run run current file interactive window so it will it will run here it is connected to python 3.12 so i want to see what data i want to plot as a base map because you need to know what you're plotting you are bingo so you see like 195 rows and five columns so there is region name region code district code and district 
here. So you see now we have this. That means our data, uh, we are going to have a visualized base map using GeoPandas, but the region name will be like a symbol symbology for visualization. So that means that being said, I have that. So now the other thing is you need to know what's the what's the what's the CRS. So CRS, I just type here tz dot CRS. CRS is the current reference system. This helps to know which geodata, I mean data I'm supposed to to use so by press, pressing enter. That means this WGS84. Wow, this helps during the base map because you know, when you go with an line map, that means you make sure you need to match the coordinate reference system with those you're going to plot. So going back to my this screen here, now I'll just have to now to to prepare a figure like a, a plot area, a figure size. So plot area, I'll just start with PLT. This is for for matplotlib. Then RSC param parameters, yes, like parameters. Then I'll have to put a list brackets then figure for the plot so that I can, I can plot it. I can plot my map, which I'm going to show you later after just only a few minutes on how it will appear. The bigger the figure, you see. Then here equals to then brackets, so I'll just prefer 20 by 20, the figure size. Yeah, okay. Then from here now, because I know the CRS already for me on my right here, yeah? the CRS, that means the current reference system. So what I'm required to do now, I need to convert now into a into a WGSD4, the base map which I'm going to load from context. So with that being said, I'll, I'll create a variable, for instance, geopanda wm for web mapping, then equals to tz dot tanzania as my variable here. This this reads tz that means this is the whole path of the file. So when you see tz, that means it reads the file in my computer, in my local host. Then then what I'm required to do now is I'll just have to convert to CRS as usual to CRS. Then should be EPSG 3857 European Petroleum Survey Group 3857. So now here I'm converting this my localhost file in my computer into CR7. I mean CRS, <laughs> CRS. Okay. Then after there now I'm going to just to establish a variable now. For instance, axis AX for reading that converted uh, geodata. The, the online tile map into this particular by calling it now. So I'm calling it now GPD because I've assigned as a variable web map WM. Now dot, now I'm plotting it, plot, then brackets. Now because I'm plotting it, I'll plot against region name. As I mentioned earlier, this is a region name here. See here, region name. So I'll just copy this. I'm copying to make sure that I don't misspell column equals region name let me use the yes these two of them here okay now i have my region name then comma now because uh, i'm plotting it so i have a region name let us just try to put some little bit maybe uh the the legend legend equals true true and maybe the or oh, should they add maybe the color map color map because color maps there's jets there is red blue greens there is reds so i'll just use jet okay so that's it so let us try to plot here and see i'll just call now my command as you mentioned cx this is a context so this is what you you call online tile so cx dot now the the command for showing the map is add base map here Add base map, but watch base map because this all of this GPD is inside this. So AX, I write here AX. That's it. So let us try to to load to run our command so that we see what will appear here. Our map. So we are starting to visualize now. We are already as we are cooking the cake. Now we are already on fire. Now let's see what's happening. Let us look. Uh, let's have a look. So by running here, it runs here at the bottom. Just give it some time, it runs. 
Yes, we have it here already. See, something beautiful already is appearing here. Wow. So you see, we are almost there. Now let us, okay, now let us, what we can do here now, we can add some visuals now. For instance, I'll add the grid, plt.grid. As a map, you know, we, have, we need to have lats and longitude. Then we need to add the title, plt. plt is a matplot lib command here from plt.title. Then our title should be Tanzania region base map. 2023 then yeah maybe another thing maybe you can go with size size of the text should be like 30 then it should be bold weight equals to bold I mean the text should be in bold color then you can add here also something here okay plt dot grid of course this is case sensitive yeah small p yeah <laughs> okay so now here we can also add edge color edge color equals to we can put it black or yeah i can add black yes something like that what did it say it's a plt let me write it again plt dot grid grid yes so we have our code here now so now that means when we run again we have green maps here and we have the title to appear here on top with the size 13 and bold and everything all set so now let us put the icing on the cake let us run it now so upon running wow things are cooking our we are about to have our cake now bingo something like that trans near region based map something like that so you can always you can always you can always like export this for instance here save us you can save us this one this map here for instance i can i can show it on desktop here output png yes save plot image so it will appear on my desktop yes so when i go to my desktop now output png here something beautiful like this tanzania region base map in png format wow so that's it so this is the way of plotting or creating a simple base map using geopandas with python actually in only 10 lines of code actually the 11 minus this comment is 10 lines of code make sure subscribe for more videos like this